Okay, so today we are planting bristlecone pines and dejeeling weeping cypress seeds. I've got five pots set up for each one. I'm going to do two seeds each for the bristlecone pine, so ten seeds altogether, and four seeds each for the dejeeling. They have a lower stratification rate. I have my soil tamped down a bit, so it's, you know, it's not very springy, but as you can see from the spraying, it's got great drainage. This is a mixture of seed starter mix from Home Depot as well as um, perlite for drainage and aeration and a mixture of bone meal and fish meal in a ratio of 1 to 10 in this mix here. You know, it's soft, it's fine, drains very well. So yeah, we're going, I'm going to finish watering these and then I'll be back when we actually start planting. Okay, so finish with the watering. We have the first two inches of these pots. These are three inch by four inch, three inch wide at the top, four inches tall. You got the first two inches or so moist. So we're going to start with the bristlecone pine seeds. These were a huge, you know, exciting thing to get. I know you can order them pretty much anywhere, but I've always wanted them. Because I would love to start a couple of bonsais from seed with the bristlecone ponds. I just never had the ability to in the past. So. Okay, so the bristle cones are all planted. See if I can get this package open. All right, now for the dejeeling. I love cypress seeds. I love the way they look. One, two, three, four. Same thing here. Two. Three, four. Okay, so hopefully we will get at least one, one seed to germinate from each thing, from each pot. That's the hope. They say they have a 65% germination rate. Obviously that's an approximate you could get one pot that has none and one pot that is three or four, so only time will tell on that one. Yeah. 
This top layer I just put on soft and loose. I don't tap it down too much. And for the bristle cones, these I will tap down a little bit more. Reason for tapping them down, it provides a strong root base, something solid and strong for the roots to grow into. And covering the bristle cones with, actually I covered both the bristle cones and the dejeeling with approximately a, half, a quarter inch to a half inch of soil on top. Once more, we give these a light water. This is a great sprayer to get when you're doing house plants. Especially when you're doing these seedlings, these seeds gives you control over the pressure of the water coming out, which is great so you don't disrupt the seedlings. This is what you want to get. You want to make sure the water is coming out the bottom of the pot. Okay, I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to finish watering them. And I'll come back, say a few more things afterwards. Okay, so they're all watered. Now, most trees, especially hardwood trees, you're going to usually have between one to three months for a germination time frame. Uh, which is why it was actually very surprising to me that I last week I planted close to 300 seeds and I already have red spruces that are sprouting up. So that was really cool. Um, so hopefully over the next you know few weeks we'll have some sprouts coming up from these guys here. And hopefully from there we'll, uh, you know, we'll start the process to creating bone size so keep yo know, keep checking back for updates and i will keep posting updates as these things grow and we'll go from there all right take care